Jared, what's the transition been like for you as you go from setting all these freshman school records to now really having to take on even more of a leadership role? Uh, basically, coming into my sophomore year, I don't even want to think about the records that I, I've broken last year. That's not really my main focus. My main focus is just uh, taking the young group that we have right now and trying to show them show them the ropes, basically. Even though I'm a sophomore and we have a few seniors on our team, I just want to be able to help the seniors with the leadership. And uh, I think that's something that Coach Keaton wants me to do as well. So, bas so basically, I just want to be there for our freshmen, uh, explain to them how things are done, uh, what kind of attitude we want to have going into this season so that way we're all on the same page when we get ready to start. Well, you talk about trying to step up on the leadership front. I know you've lost your front court. So who do you really see stepping up among the guys down low? Uh, down low, I really see Yannick Atanga stepping up. Uh, in practice, he's been relentless uh, with the rebounds and the block shots, and I think that's a, a big staple that he could have for this season, uh, for his last season, actually to help us win. And I think with uh, Emmanuel and Demaya, who is a, a red shirt, who was a red shirt last year, who will be playing for us this year, a 6'10 center from uh, Nigeria, I think he'll be a big help as well because of his big body. He's really strong, big arms, and I think he'll just be uh, so our physical side a lot more. Let's talk about your game for a second. We all know you can drain the three a little bit. What part of your game did you really focus on in the off season? In the off season, I really focused on my mid range. I knew that uh, coming off my freshman year, everybody knows I'm a three-point shooter, so I know I'm going to have to be able to get to the basket. Uh, I felt like I was decent with getting to the basket when I couldn't shoot a three, but it's really just the mid-range that I needed to work on, whether it be a one-dribble pull-up to the elbows or to the corners, or whether it just be spin move, Tony Parker floaters. Those are the, uh, the main things that I worked on, is just getting a good feel for being around the basket but inside the arc. I'm getting the distinct feeling you have designs on being more than just a basketball player. I, I see your little show on the internet, <laughs> Long Walks with Jared. What's going on there? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, one thing with me is I, I know that I like communicating uh, with people. I like talking and interacting. Uh, so just being able to work for uh, our program, uh, I Bronco at Santa Clara, was a, a big thing for me. So uh, I was able to uh, kind of start up my own show and uh, it's called Long Walks with Jared. So it's just it's just a starting point for me. And I think it's a something that I like to focus on uh, besides basketball. But, besides, but basketball is my main focus. But uh, this is just a little, you know, starting point to get me ready for, you know, whenever basketball might end. It's something that I like to look forward to. I see what you're doing. You're trying to take my job. Your career is not over yet. 6-12 and 12 last year in league play last year, Jared. If you had a whiteboard in your locker room with team goals, what would the top two or three lines say? Uh, top two or three lines for team goals. Uh, I would say one is communicating because that's always big. Uh, I would say another one would be the quote, figure it out, because uh, Coach Keaton always uh, stresses on us that we have to figure things out ourselves. Uh, we can't always turn to the coaches for help. So I think that's been a big thing for us with helping us uh, throughout preseason is the fact that we've had to figure out everything on our own. And I think that'll help when the game gets ready to start, when the season gets ready to start, because when we're on the court, we'll be able to figure things out by ourselves, which will ultimately make us a stronger team. Jared Brownridge, Santa Clara's sophomore stud. Thanks so much for the time, Jared. Good luck this year. Thank you. I appreciate it.